Hi there, Todd Bollinger with Custom Craigslist, and in this video is going to be based around a fitness theme. I'm going to use an image for half a background using a triangle tool, creating our own bullets, and then evenly aligning and distributing uh, those objects so you don't have to do it by hand. There's a cool function in Google Drawings for that and working with text. So if this is the first time watching one of my videos, please look under the description for Start Here First and watch that video first and it will all make sense. Or you can go to CustomCraigslist.com. So let's get started. So what I'm going to do is download a, an image I'm going to use in this ad. Um, and these are uh, morphile.com and it's a, a royalty free and always before you download images make sure you read the copyright license you know for re reusing the images so this image I saved to my computer it's usually these images are very large so what I'm gonna do is is edit uh, resize the image to fit in our ad I will have these links links provided um, below so next I'm gonna move over to or another tab in this website is called pixlr.com it has a lot of Photoshop type features and it, it's actually a great site for editing images and actually you can make your ads from Pixlr um, they have a lot of more advanced stuff but and I'll be making some videos um, uh, in the future using Pixlr but for now I'm just going to edit this photo and make the ad from Google Drawings. Click on Advanced and open an image from my computer. Image saved from wordfile.com. So I'm going to click on this, open. As you can see down here, the image is very large. So it's 20, almost 2,600 pixels by you know 3,900 pixels. So that is extremely large. So I'm going to come up to Image image size and I'm going to leave this checked constrained proportions and the width I want about 600 click OK and here's the image now below down here it's only at 15 percent because it was so large before so if it looks a lot smaller don't worry it's just you know I could change this to 100 and there it is so now so you could drag this out and there's the image so now I'm going to save this image and come up to file save we're going to leave this as JPEG and you can see the size is 52 KBs now usually our ads we're going to leave as, as PNG files but for photos you want to keep in the in the uh, JPEG format because if you do a PNG see that increased it by you want to try and keep your ads as the small size as possible because they will load a lot quicker when somebody clicks on a uh, Craigslist. It just it's just a lot quicker if their the file size is lower. So we're gonna leave this on JPEG. We'll leave it at 80, and I'm just gonna put training new. So I'm gonna save it back in the same folder. Knob that saved. Now I'm going to go over to Google Drawings. I have it already set up already. Uh, I named it Fitness. And what I'm going to do is click the image icon, and I'm going to upload. There are a lot of ways you could get images. You, you can even save images uh, to your Google Drive folder if you like. So here I'm going to pull up my folder. Here's my Fitness. I'm just going to drag that like so and there's my image so now I'm going to set that to the edge so now I'm going to go to the shapes tool and that you know, it's the little icon here where you can go to insert shapes and I'm going to use the triangle so I'm going to stretch that out and I'm going to flip this around so that up to here. Okay. 
Now I'm going to change the color to, let's see, a little darker gray. I'm going to remove the, I'm going to make the um, border white. Now the background, go to format, I'm going to make this a lighter background like so. Now from here I'm going to add some text to it. In the uh, documents in, in Drive, I have uh, already some text written out that I'm just going to copy and paste. Now I'm going to highlight my name, copy, go back to the drawing, and I'm going to insert, come down to Word Art, and paste that in and click Enter. So I'm going to change the color. Come up here, make this maybe a, a yellow, and then you could always resize this if you like. Maybe make it italic. So next, I'm going to go back to content, Hit copy, come back, and insert word art. Paste that in here. So now I'm going to change this, the Arial, the font, to maybe, let's see, Droid Sans. And I'm going to change the color to black and do an outline of white. So now I'll move this up here. Now I'll get the rest of my content. Now I'm just going to insert regular text, so I'm going to hit, click the text box and just click on the add, hit paste. There's my number, I'm going to go back to content, my website, hit copy, and then text box, paste, drag this out. And I'm going to make this a little larger. I mean, not that big. 24. Make it bold. Now here, if you click on one item and then hold the shift key and click on the next and go to arrange we could go to alignment I'm going to align these both to the top which they are aligned so if you need to align items you go to arrange you go vertically horizontally so if you have multiple items that need to be aligned perfectly you can use the arrange tool I'm going to list the rest of the text straight down here Add all these. Copy. Click enter. And I want everything to line up to the left, so I'm going to go to a line. Click left. I want to make this bigger. And let's see. There we go. I'm going to change the color to maybe a dark red. Drag this out. So now I want to put a few little arrows, like bullet points, in front of this text here. So I'm going to go to Shapes, Arrow, click on the Arrow tool, and just like so. I'm going to change the color maybe to the same color as our text here. Now I'm going to position this like so. And now what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on this. Either you could, I'm on a PC, but you could hit copy. 
and paste and it's going to pull up the same same item where you could hit edit copy edit and paste and I'm going to go paste again edit and paste one more time now I want to line all these up here so like I said you could click here hold the shift key click the next one click the one below that so on so now all these are clicked I'm going to go to a range we're going to align this horizontally to the left and now we're going to go to a range and we're going to go to distribute vertically now these are all lined up perfectly now you can use the arrow key if you want to move all these around like so now this ad is complete again we'll go to file download as and PNG and from there follow the process for my first video and you can find that link in the description under start here first thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video